Hey guys, Astro Smasher. I know it's been like five months since I posted a video. That's because on my last video, Quarantine Series 5, Poker and Blackjack, I was hoping on doing, um, what is it? I was hoping of doing, um, trying to do another bowling one, but unfortunately, I had a cup of milk and it spilled all over where they read the cartridges. <clears throat> so unfortunately, my television system broke. So I hope to get a replacement. When I get the replacement, I'm gonna go back into the business. So if so, it's gonna be a it's gonna be a while for another video to come. But today, just to have something fun because I haven't been able to do a video in five months because I had. School that just started on uh, September 2nd, which is a Wednesday. I'm in high school. So, it's kind of tough. And also, I've been going well with sports. And, uh... I'm going to be showing you my collection. But, I'm going to do something different in the collection. I'm going to explain a story about those games for me. I'm not going to tell facts. I'm just going to explain. Like, if I show a game, I'm going to show... A fact about every single game so let's just get started because I have another class on Google meet that's what we use for all of our classes online for my school it's a little bit different and plus my phone is near dead so let's just get started um, first off we got armor battle so armor battle on this game these cards So the cartridge on my battle. I for this game, this was the first two player game that I actually played. Like on the television flashback before it broke. Before it broke and I had to get another replacement for it. That was the first like two player game I did. And I ended up versus my uncle because he had this as a child. And I versed them, and we ended up getting close to each other, and that was fun. Astro Smash. Game Above and Beyond. One of the top seven games for in television. That was a, that's why I think, in my opinion, because it's a really a good of a game. And um, for this game, this was the second game that I played on the flashback. I'll show you the first game that I did in a little bit. But this game, my first, this was the first game I got that was in the scanner. Like, I got five games in one, at one time. And this was the first game that I got from it. Because when I get the Intellivision, I knew I had to get this. And this was the first cartridge that was like, automatically when I put it in it, it's like automatically readable. And I was happy about it. So I was happy on that one. This is the most recent game I got. Atlantis, which is based on the Atari version of Atlantis. But this game was better than the Atari one. I have to admit, this one's better than the Atari. Here's the gameplay. This is at night, during the daytime. And the time lapse continues. So I just say, our Magic Games, they did good. Really good, I Magic. And that was the, um, this is the most recent game I got from it. And this video, 200 of you know about this. Auto racing. I actually, this is the first game I ordered on Amazon. And it came really well. But this, this was the first game that I got. That featured this type of thing. We just get it out. It has this. The, in television, the INTV Corp version of it. I didn't complain about it. If it's readable, I don't care. Looks like this is from Toys R Us. And this box is destroyed. But able to read, I don't care. And plus, when I, that's the second video I made from this, from it. Because it was the... Because I did an alphabetical order of gameplays. Sorry, I'm getting a sniffle here. I did not know that 200 of you actually enjoyed this video. I know you guys really enjoyed it. Now, next up... Um, 
I have B17 bomber, the Intella Voice. I got it at the same time as another game I'm gonna show you. This is another game called there's another game called Bomb Squad I have, and I'll show you later. This game was the first game that I actually enjoyed that included talking. They could talk, you know. I had a lot of fun with this game. It was overall difficult the first time. But when you read the instructions, it actually gives you better hints. Now this game, I'm the worst at it. Backgammon, I'm the worst at it. There's a gameplay, if you're interested in knowing. Backgammon. The only game I have that's in a purple thing. And I don't know that much. These games, I've done a gameplay before. I've done a gameplay before. If you're new to my channel, you'll be looking to go to my channel, Astro Smasher, then playlists, and then look for Astro's gameplays and you'll find them. From like the beginning to the most recent one. I've done Quarantine Classic because whenever we were in quarantine, I just made like a gameplay of myself during talking. So I kind of did the next level until the system broke. I'm thinking of the next plan I'm going to think of later. This game, when I first got this next game, I actually was the only iMagic game that I played more than an hour a day. Beauty and the Beast. This is the gameplay. So Beauty and the Beast, this game, I will say, did not do a bad job from iMagic. But in the in the um overlays, I didn't know they had them in here, but I knew how to play this game. But I didn't know they had them in here, and I found them because they were underneath the cartridge where it'll be underneath this. The instruction. It'll be like this. It was like this. It was like underneath it. I didn't know that. So that was Beauty and the Beast. This is gonna be a long video, I think. This collection sucks. Put some more here. Now, this is what I'm talking about Bob Squad. I got it at the same time I got B17 Bobber. This game is the only one I completed. But I, but I had it off camera. This is what the cartridges look like. These be that they are in televoice games. At this point, you have to like set off, set off a bomb before it explodes and lose your city in in the game. But a, a good thing I did it, and I'm happy about it. This next game I enjoyed the most. I got bowling. I wanted our Amazon too, but unfortunately. When I got it, it came with no cartridge. No cartridge? I ended up ordering, having the um, people who sell these games. I ended up contacting them, and they got the cartridge within, like, two days. So I was happy for them. So I was happy. I didn't complain. And you understand what it means. Next up is when I got this with Astro Smash and a whole bunch of other games. This is one of the first five games I got with the system. Sorry, my ass bad. I got burger time. And this box is smashed. Like, smashed. I mean, smashed. And the cartridge is not that good, too. So I might go to my store and for a dollar, I might get an extra cartridge for it. So I can do better at it. Because right now, I'm terrible. Now, this next game is the first game I've ever played on the flashback. And it's Buzz Bombers. Buzz Bombers. When I first got this game for the Intellivision, I ordered it on Amazon, like I did for most of these games. And this game, I would say, they did a good job on this because you have to, it's kind of easy. And they gave me like three overlays, and I didn't even need it because I used to play this game on the flashback before it broke. And I had too much fun with it. These games I've made a gameplay. So if you go in the playlist, you'll find all this stuff. And you'll find a whole bunch of other stuff. Like me doing playing on the PlayStation, showing my collection, and a whole bunch of other stuff. Next up is basically by Coleco Donkey Kong. This game is mainly for the Coleco Vision, but they made it on the Intellivision. Like, this thing's by Coleco. Coleco. 
I said they made it on the Intellivision. That guy may be confused. The only, why didn't just make it for the Coleco instead of just the Intellivision? But, like I said, Donkey Kong. One of my favorite games of all time. Oh, my bad. Next up is a horrible game. Frog Bog. It's terrible. Where does it go tonight? It's like game over. It's, a, it's not supposed to sound like that. So this cartridge on here is bad. But I hope I get another one dollar replacement. Like I do on most of these games. Next up is another frog game. And I'm pretty sure you guys know this one. Frogger. They made this for the Atari too. They made this for like a whole bunch of other stuff. The arcade and they did all this stuff. And this Frogger game, I would say, not bad at all. Like, the cartridge, I enjoyed it. This is also where I got Intel Astro Smash and Burger Time. And, like, a whole bunch of other stuff. I know it's been a long video, but I'm only going to skip some games if I don't remember a story for now on. Alright, next up is Golf. I completed a score of minus two at one time. Horse racing, I love the intro, but the overall gameplay is hard. This is where I got Astro Smash and Burger Time, Pokemon Blackjack. Top selling game of all time. Another one I got off Amazon is um, Las Vegas Roulette. Roulette. If you don't know how to play it, it's like you have to gamble up a number and you just spin a wheel. And whatever number it lands on, you basically, like, went on some stuff. I've never been to a casino because you're not allowed because I'm 14. But they turn 15 in November. And both my birthday is on the 15th. And I'm going to turn 15. That's silly. Another one I'm is on Walk and Chase. Which is kind of like Pac-Man. But, and, because it's like Pac-Man, but the ghost. But instead it's robbers escaping from the police. Like, cops and robbers. I enjoyed that one. This that one was the most enjoyable one. Now we're going to the most enjoyable games of the entire collection. I have to put this out of the way. Now let's get these games and let's start them all. all right. We got Major League Baseball. I would say this is my favorite game behind Buzz Bombers and Astro Smash. Favorite game. Um, another one of Amazon Basketball. This one is in perfect condition. Like, perfect edition. Like, these things weren't even touched in their lifetime. And these things weren't even wrapped. Oh, yeah, that login chase I showed you, that was brand new. I'm not kidding. Okay, next one is the hardest one. You guys remember, a hundred of you know this game because... A hundred of you know this game because I did a, a special edition. NFL football. For NFL football, I did Super Bowl 54 because the day I made it, it was the Super Bowl 54 between the Chiefs and the 49ers. So, yeah. NHL hockey. NHL hockey. The hardest sport game that I have. Next up is. I got, got, um, I got a lot. I got Night Stalker. Cartridge sucked. Royal Dealer, my worst video of all time. I shouldn't have done that video in the first place, but I needed it. Next up is Snafu. It's kind of like, it's like a special edition of Snake on the Intellivision. They made like a special edition of Snake, which is more the fun. And I'll give them that. What could they do this at? Okay, next up, these games I will explain the most story on. Um... We got Space Armada, which is like Space Invaders. I got it with the system. When I first got it. When I got the system. I got it. It only came with one overlay because it's only for one player. The case sucked. But this game is like Space Invaders. If you want to come to conclusions. Space Battle. No, this game, I smashed the cartridge. No, I did not. Alright, let me just get this out. Alright, you see this cartridge? This is the one that works extremely well. This one works well. 
the one I smashed. Let me show you. This the, uh, there's another one I smashed. Where's that? Where's the other one? Oh, there it is. Let me get it. This is the one I smashed. Now this one, when I did the gameplay, I had a cartridge. I got a cartridge for a dollar at a store I went to all the time. And this was the original cartridge that does not work at all. So I ended up getting a replacement. I ended up doing so bad. I like quickly got a hammer and grabbed this cartridge that doesn't work at all. And I said, have some fun. And like rage, like smashed it with his hammer. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I've done that. If you've watched that video, 50 of you have, but please do, I need some more. Jeez, cause nobody likes me so far. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Um, let me just get these games out of the way and let's go for the final four. Next up is, this one is my favorite 3D game on the television, the Star Strike. Awesome 3D, probably my favorite 3D game. Oh God. Sorry, my nose is all running. Gosh. All right, let's get. Uh... All right. So this is all the space games for me. Next up is a horror game, Sub Hunt. I never completed this game, but it's actually not that bad at all. It's not that bad of a game. It's just it's kind of hard. Next up, the final two. We got the sport game, tennis. I have done, I have done a gameplay on it. Like I said, Ash Oost gameplay, and you'll find it. And yeah. Next up is this one where Disney and Mattel collide to form Tron, Maze Tron. In their gameplay, it says Walt Disney, Walt Disney Productions, and Mattel. It's because they collide with each other because Disney is a property of Tron, and in television. Need a license for them. So that's gonna do it. My television collection with further information about it for myself. I am hoping of trying to get a replacement, but as a backup plan, I want you to think would you want to want me to do gameplays on the PlayStation 1? Like I did that one special and keep doing it. Or, hoping to get a replacement, or try to get a replacement for the flashback instead. And I want you guys to choose, because I hate to be somebody choosing. Like, if 98% of you say, in television flashback, I end up getting a new system, then everybody's going to be mad at me. So I want you guys to choose. Whoever gets the most vote, whoever says what they want, then that's what I'll do. PlayStation, flashback, or get the system. And plus for the system, it might take a while because I need to get a replacement and there's no way to be found unless online for like $65. The flashback is like $40, but it's all the way in Florida where the virus's hotspot is. But, well, that's going to do it for me. i hoping I'm making a video in the past. And um, I hope to have some fun. Astro Smasher, we will continue soon.